Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. We are here around the moon and we are going to do a crewed lunar landing. That is the, pl the plan and I have decided that Milden Kerman will be the one to attempt it. Uh, they both have the same number of stars, so the same capabilities. And we'll use ship manifest to transfer Milden over. Okay, so that's okay. We should have plenty of fuel in the lander even though we've used a little bit of it. So we are going to undock. And Analyst will hang out with 1,189 to get back home, so that's no problem there. And we are going to get the RCS on, back off, and that works. So we will proceed. We are recharging. And we will land in a location that can communicate with Earth that has sunlight, hopefully. Um, right around here would be great, but... Boy, it looks bumpy. <laughs> um... I guess we can rely on our satellites, but then where do we want to land? That spot is always tempting, on the far side. Maybe inside this crater? Maybe? Or that crater? We can certainly communicate from over here, so... Let's see, let's line up the orbit. Let's use MechJab for a reference. I don't know if aiming for a crater is the best idea or not, but... Probably not. <laughs> Big target on the map. Lowlands. It's not even a special crater. Oh. But maybe it'll be nice and flat at the bottom, right? Maybe? I'm just worried about slopes, so. Okay. Let's proceed. And here on the opposite side, we'll initialize our descent. Can we do some science out here? Report. Oh, it looks like we can do a crew report. Never did space near the moon, seriously? Well, anyway, we are transmitting that. That should be good enough. Um, it looks like it's a little bit further south than we are right now. But that probably gets us closer to the center of that crater, which is probably for the best. Let's reassess that. Okay. Probably there'll be some deviation once we get there. And I basically want to start maybe seven minutes ahead of that, given our stage time and delta V. So just hovering over here. That's 12 minutes. Oh, we've uh, hit the lower regions where time warp is restricted. It's nine minutes. Well, that's less than seven minutes, so I guess we should get started. Oh, there's Earth. Sunny. Let's go. And we'll probably initially need some pitch to manage things. Because of the long burn time. It's sure daunting being this close to the surface at this point, but... That is a more correct approach. I don't want the suicide burn countdown to go negative. <laughs> I'll keep it positive. It makes me feel better. It looks like our intended target is a little bit further south, so I'll lean more that way. Got a lot of suicide burn countdown. Probably we start too early then. I'll cut down the thrust as a result. I don't know, maybe the middle of a crater isn't the best idea. But... I'm seeing that crater there, it doesn't look that big, so there's not that much flatness. I just don't want to hit the edge though. I think we'll pop over here if we can, but I don't know if we can slow down in time. Maybe we'll reassess the target to here, Midlands. I don't want to land in this part. I want to land over there. Uh, I don't know if I'm quite making that. We need about 2,200 meters per second to return to a, our awaiting return vessel, so... I mean, we've got plenty on that. We just need to be careful here. I hope this is as nice a landing spot as I think it is. <laughs> oh. 
that it is not too slopey. Don't want to land over here. I'll land more over here if possible. I don't really need landing guidance anymore. Yeah, see that that looks like a slopey place. I don't know, it's tough to tell, but I feel like this is the flatter part and everything else is sort of sloping down into it, you see. So down here would be nice. Okay, throttling down. We are we're really sort of just right above the this thing. I'm actually gonna try and use RCS to kill the horizontal speed if possible. Okay, surface horizontal speed is low. We're taking all of the luxury of our Delta V here. Too bad we can't see whether Milden's excited or not. <laughs> the camera is in place right after they resize the pod for reals, realism overhaul. Oh, it's a slope. Oh, gosh. Uh, I've got the horizontal speed down at least. Trying to make this as soft as possible. Uh, uh, oh, oh, no, 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 what? Look, that, that was as soft as I could do it. No way, come on. I object. <laughs> I object. There's no way, that's not right. That's not right. <laughs> That was nice. It was the surface horizontal speed was very low. This slope is not too bad. I mean, we've got plenty of mass down here. It's not the pod should not be that much mass compared to the tank. Screw that. <laughs> that was a nice landing. I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> that was a nice landing. I swear. I'm gonna hack grab and set Milden upright. I I am not I am not accepting that. Okay. Fine, and now unhack grab. Let me just make sure it's reset properly. Reset properly. Unhack grab. Alright. What an annoyance. Okay, well not the way I wanted to land triumphantly on the moon, but shoot. <laughs> Here we go. Midland EV report. Uh, well, we've apparently done Midlands before. Surface sample. Uh, I guess we haven't recovered it because Jeb perished or something. Um, board crew report. Uh, let's just transmit that now. Okay, we can't really plant a flag with Milden. And maybe it's safer not to have Milden actually touch the surface, but all right. I mean, because we can get the surface sample without actually coming down off the ladder. Okay, landed. Definitely landed. Okay. And yes, we don't have a flag. And we've already got that. Can't get more of that. All right. And the RCS alone, the jetpack alone, is not good enough for the moon. Uh, ah. <gasps> this is just going wonderfully. We have to jump when using the pack. Okay, well now we're down one solar panel. I'm sure that won't unbalance anything. I don't think it will actually. Um, let us target our return vessel. Let's wait until it's right behind us. We don't want to wait too long though, the electric charge is running out. Okay, that should be good enough. Oh, we wiggled. Oh, there's just so much wiggliness on the moon, darn it. Okay. 
so we want to be going in this direction. I, I would like a heading for it, but I guess we can figure it out. Uh, two f 250, I guess. I mean, basically, with the way we're pointing right now, we'll be fine. Okay, SAS on and ignition. Apoapsis there is 78 kilometers. Maybe we could sort of push ourselves over there, I don't know. There we go, apoapsis and descending node at the same place. That'll be ideal. Okay, this looks like a nice rendezvous after one orbit. Our periapsis will be safe. And we'll get to it within render range with very little relative speed after the one orbit. So our electric charge situation should not be a problem. Okay, ignition. Okay, we are approaching it. And we'll have it point to us. Okay, and approaching, 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 approaching. And we are docked. Okay, let us transfer Milton over. Let's just not talk about the details. <laughs> well, let's, uh, I guess we can transfer this science. Uh, I think that happened. Okay. And we will transfer Milden. Okay. And we don't need more fuel, but we can transfer some more. I go, I guess we can't transfer fuel like that. All right. Undock. Milden is on this side. This side has enough delta V to come back. And this we'll just leave here for now. It is actually recharging just with one panel, so that's nice, but probably not enough to overcome the amount it loses on the nighttime side. So we will plot for return. Okay, that will do the trick. All right. Oh, please don't let the node be right in the direction of the lander. i am got to target the lander just in case. It's close, but it's not exactly there. Okay, well, I think we'll clear it. Okay, selling fuel down, just in case. And ignition for return burn. Why is that not reading the numbers for our target when we have the target right there? Isn't that... that's weird, isn't it? I don't know. I should have the target information, right? Distance to target and everything. Sometimes, I tell you. No idea what's going on. <laughs> Okay, the burn is concluding, and let's just make sure we get the periapsis that we want. And let's just shut down there. And a little bit of RCS. We'll say 60. If we bounce up, I won't be too mad. Okay, on we go. Back home. Oh, there's Earth. We're a little bit higher up than I wanted, so let me just make a quick correction here. Okay, activating the pods RCS finally. And, well, we're not going to get much more sunlight than that, so let us get rid of the service module. Alright, separation. Hmm, I don't know why. Oh, it is turning. It is using the RCS, it's just not showing me the RCS for some reason. Hmm. It's not showing me the RCS plumes. But it's using it. 
don't know why... I don't know the rules anymore. I don't know why it's doing what it does. We're still not using descent mode here. We are in the atmosphere now. And the service module exploded. Okay, we've got some overheating though. But I guess there are limits anyway. This is not intended to be a, like, return pod from Jupiter or something, so... Well, I think I have enough time to try and take care of the two Mars surface probes. So after this we'll see about those. I think it's coming straight down. Yep, it's been a long re-entry, but at least it's just a single go. And actually, G-Force is not too bad. So far, 5 Gs. But it's going up right now. Overall, pretty good though. We have got to be in Australia right now. There's just nothing else over here. <laughs> we are definitely over Australia. Maybe, maybe Indonesia? I don't know. Because, I mean, it's only 18 degrees south. Uh... Okay, arrow cap jettison. That was clean. Okay, nice safe speed, 5.5 meters per second. Oh, it's actually water. It looks green though. There's definitely land over there. Um, apparently water, folks. Uh, maybe off the north coast of. I I don't know that that that. There's definitely a. I don't know what we're on. Okay, fine. Once again, I have no idea what's going on. Recover vessel. Uh, uh, recover to VAB. Maybe I should stop recovering this thing to VAB. We might need to stop reusing this thing because we can't even see the RCS anymore. <laughs> there might be other problems with this now. We may need to build a new one. Okay, but the point is, uh, we got some science, of course, but the main thing is we need to make sure that we actually... I can't believe uh, the Kerbal that went around the moon but didn't land didn't get any extra points. Uh, but, oh well. We did finish the contract, right? It seems that way because it's not around here. Somewhere somewhere around here is the crude lunar landing. There we go. And we've got money. Alright, let's just quickly try and deal with the Mars probes. And of course with the arrival of the Mars probes we will have fulfilled the three critical contracts that we had. If they actually land safely, of course. And comms will be a major part of that. Uh, well, maybe just enough gap between the two. Uh, this isn't communicating anymore. I thought we saw communication lines just a second ago. Got power. Uh, there's a green line here, and I don't know what it's trying to signify. Look at those. I mean, what what has happened to our comm lines? Oh, wait, no. Things make more sense. Okay. I don't know what that one is. This one is communicating with something around Mars, but apparently that thing around Mars is not communicating back home. But this was supposed to be able to communicate back home all the way, but I guess it's not good enough. Let's see if we get closer to Mars if we pick something up. Oh, power. Well, this was supposed to be oriented properly in the first place, so I don't mind doing that. Whatever that is, and that's communicating back, but maybe that's not a relay satellite. Earth is all the way over there, is a problem. This has a whole lot of these relay dishes. I guess them combining wasn't enough. Blocked by arrow shielding. Hold on, it says blocked by arrow shielding. I'm gonna go away from it and come back and see if we can unblock it from arrow shielding because it shouldn't be blocked by arrow shielding. Maybe the stupid heat shield is in the way somehow. I don't know how that works. No, still no comms. Still blocked by arrow shielding. I don't suppose the input locks is a 
issue. Well, that's probably the mistake right there. I assume that the situation is the same with the other one, let's see. Yep, same situation. Same blocked by arrow shielding relay antennae right there. I'm gonna leave this right here just in case we can come up with a solution for it. So they're coming in, we can't communicate with them, and I believe it's because of this blocked by arrow shielding thing. Uh, if there are any thoughts about how to solve this, I will be glad to hear them. And I will not proceed with these uh, because maybe we'll come up with something. But yeah, it looks like we're going to ha fail our Mars landing, little probe landing mission. Because there's no way we're going to get another bunch off in time since the contract is up in 320 days. So let's just see what the stakes are. How much do we stand to lose if we fail these? Mm, 1.5 million. I mean, it's not gonna kill us, but it's going to hurt us. <laughs> so, uh, yep. If you guys have any idea about how to solve the block by arrow shielding problem, maybe. I don't know if that'll guarantee us communications, but it'd be a start. So, yeah, if you have any ideas, let's just check about those other two Mars probes that are communicating, I'm supposing that they're not relay probes. And that's why they're not helping us, even though we can communicate with them. Oh yeah, there's just a little guy with all these helix antennae. They are not... They have great range, but they are definitely not relay antennae. They, it does have two relay antennae. But I guess the combinable only operates for those two independently. It, uh, when it's relaying, it can't use these guys. But, yeah, so it doesn't have the relay range to Earth. Well, all very complicated. Anyway, so the other one is probably the same sort of deal. So, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.